for teaching you that, princess. You were but a girl. <laughs> that was long ago. Much has changed. My loyalty to your family hasn't. Trust me now as you did then. Please, princess, just listen. We shouldn't fight. Forgive me, Princess, but I won't allow you to hurt yourself or anyone else. Fight. Tarkat makes victims of us all. I am in your debt. No, your majesty. There can be no debt between friends. I am glad she is safe, and that our conflict has ended. It is paused, not ended. Li Mei has earned my goodwill. Whether you do remains to be seen. I seek only peace, your majesty. Is that why you send minions on secret missions into my empire? You've proved yourself the enemy I was long warned you would be. I understand your anger, but I had reason to believe that Shang Tsung posed a threat to both of us. Until I confirmed them, I did not want to burden you with my suspicions. And now? They have proven true. Shang Tsung, Quan Chi, the General. They conspire to conquer our realms. A serious charge. Where is your proof? At Shang Tsung's laboratory. If what you see there does not convince you, I will surrender Earthrealm without a fight. Oh, how could I have so misjudged them? For Shang Tsung to indulge in such depravity, for General Shao to condone it, they are not the men I thought them. Despite my best efforts, neither man nor Quan Chi are who they were meant to be. They're not your responsibility. They're outworlders. But it is I who crafted their destinies, along with those of all other beings, at the dawn of history. You created the realms. I is your mind addled, demigod? I am a mere demigod now. But eons ago, I was more powerful than all of the Elder Gods combined. I was a titan and the keeper of time. This is Gears. Your Majesty, Your Highnesses. Giris is the guardian of the Hourglass, a celestial object which lies beyond the realms. The Hourglass regulates time and destiny. When I wielded its power, 
It was upon me to craft all of existence, which I did when I restarted history. Restarted? This timeline was preceded by billions more, though this is the first of Liu Kang's design. The others were designed by his predecessor. Kronika was obsessed with equalizing good and evil. When a timeline veered too far to one or the other, she would halt it and restart history, tinkering with lives and events in the hope of achieving her golden balance. Prior timelines, Kronika gave Shang Tsung and Quan Chi mastery of the most vile magics. Shao was not a general, a tyrannical ruler bent on conquest. You, Sidel, were his ruthless wife, who would do anything to preserve your privilege. When I took the hourglass from Kronika, I vowed to do better. So in this timeline, the sorcerers would not gain their dark powers. Shao would be your loyal follower, and you would rule Outworld firmly but fairly. But someone has interfered with Liu Kang's design. Xiao, Shang Tsung, Guan Qi, all have been groomed by an unknown entity to be the villains they were in previous timelines. Where to begin? Am I to kneel to my creator? Do you expect worship? No, your majesty. My prior role was thrust upon me by circumstance. I am in no way divine. You had power over all of creation, yet you gave it up. Because I saw how it drove Kronika mad, I knew I would fare no better had I kept it. Dare you conspire against Outworld? Not against Outworld, but against your misguided rule. Your deference to him leaves us all vassals. So you sanction these unspeakable horrors? Lie to me about the threats we face? Thanks to you, Earthrealm blood is already on my hands. Bloodshed, without cause or provocation. Don't move. Empress, everyone, stay back. What is it? 